Hi there. Yes, it is me, Tom, and let's partake on vlog day 63. That's the first time in a while I've actually said the actual day. Yeah, it's day 63, and I've been doing this for quite a while. So, so far, you've seen me try and eat bread in two minutes. You've seen me uh, in London recently. You've seen me try and learn to play the cornet, which I'm still trying to learn. I'm not very good at it. Uh, you've also seen me do stuff, stupid stuff, like that big, climby thing, you know, where I was, castle, walk down the bridge thing, you probably remember, that was stupid. So yeah, you've seen quite a bit, and if you haven't noticed, I've been completely and utterly unproductive on these, like, really unproductive, and so I'm gonna try and start doing something productive. And so, this is more of a taster on the next few ones I'll be doing different stuff, something productive and seeing what genre people like, so, or genre. So, today, as you all know, I do visual effects, so I'm going to talk to you all about visual effects, and, uh, today, I'm going to basically explain programs. Uh, so, first program is the editing program that you'll all need, like, the editing. This can be anything, if you're a Mac user, Final Cut Pro, or iMovie, or if you're a Windows user, Adobe Premiere Pro, Sony, not Sony, what's it called? Well, Windows, Live Movie Maker, or Windows Movie Maker, and Premiere Pro are the two that I've come across mainly. I know there are two of us, well, there's probably more than two of us, quite a few of us, but those are the two main ones in my mind. Windows Movie Maker, I wouldn't recommend that for the only reason of I don't use it, and I don't, and all the times I've had to use it, I didn't particularly like it. I don't think you have that much control, uh, and I hate exporting in that program. I just hate exporting in that So, I would opt for Premiere Pro, which you can obviously buy or get somewhere else. So, yes, uh, Premiere Pro is an Adobe product, of course. It's very, very good. I use it to edit these vlogs, and I, I use it to edit everything now. Um, but, it's in the end just an editing program, and if you want to do visual effects, well then you'll start need to go on to visual effects programs. Um, a composer, and probably the most well-known and best visual effects programs there is, is of course, After Effects. And you've probably heard me talk about this before, uh, After Effects is amazing. I love it, I've been learning it for about two years now. Two? Yeah, two years. It's really, really fun. Uh, but you can do great things with it, you can do anything if you want, if you really put your mind to it, it'll take a lot of work, but you can do nearly anything. Um, but that's like, 2D. So it's only 2D, like gunshots, stuff like that. If you want to go into 3D models like they do in Transformers, or liquid stuff, you'll need other programs. And for that, for main 3D models, main 3D animations, you will need, uh, in my opinion, Adobe 3DS Max. Which is absolutely terrific, and you can do a lot of stuff with it, I'm currently learning it. Or Adobe... What did I say Adobe? Autodesk. Autodesk 3ds Max. Or Autodesk Maya. Or Maya. That's a really good program too. I don't use that that much, but I prefer... I've heard it's good, and it can produce brilliant quality. Uh, so those are the, like, big ones. They're the boxy ones. But then if you want to go into more modeling and texturing, you want Autodesk Mudbox or ZBrush. Two very good programs. I prefer Mudbox because I've used it more. Um, if you want to go for animations, I think it's Soft Image or Motion Builder, both from Autodesk. They're very good for animations and movements and everything. And for like liquid simulation, the liquid simulations, you'll want RealFlow. I use RealFlow. I'm learning how to use it. It's absolutely amazing. These are all programs I'm learning at the moment, so you'll hopefully see me use them soon. So those are the basic programs. Uh, so in my opinion, get Premiere Pro, edit a video, and then for the visual effects shots, open them in After Effects, and then if there's a um, 3D model you need, open 3ds Max, make the model, import into After Effects, colour correct it and everything, which I'll get into more another time, colour correct it and composite it properly into After Effects, and then put that back into Premiere, then use Premiere to render all of it, and boom, you've got a little video. It's cracking. Uh, yeah, so that's me talking mainly about the visual effects programs. I'll get on to more visual effects, like, in-depth on them more later. Uh, today is day 63, and it's the end of the day. Goodbye.